What is up, my beautiful Geminis? My name is Rose Warrior. I'll be taking care of you today with our tarot reading. Alrighty, Spirit, what are the messages for my beautiful Geminis? Gemini risings, Gemini moons, and Gemini suns, or all Gemini placements that resonate with this video. Alrighty, Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, we are protected during this reading. No negative energies or forms or weapons formed against us shall prosper. All right, the devil energy at the end of the deck. So Gemini, whatever industry that you're in, you're dealing with a lot of betrayal, you're dealing with a lot of deceit, and you're dealing with a lot of people uh, definitely trying to throw daggers at you at this time. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but your innocence, your intelligence, your ability to communicate very easily, effectively, and articulately is pissing a lot of people off around you, is what I'm getting. And I literally just heard someone like spit out their water. So whoever's watching, if you literally spit out your water, please comment because I literally imagine someone like, holy shit, that's exactly what's happening. But that's the energy that's coming across. The devil card is, it could represent Capricorn. So I'm a Capricorn. So you could be dealing with someone who is a Capricorn. That's just a generalized uh, um, a fact about this card that it, it's it's sort of the Capricorn as well because it's a, a, a type of obsession, a type of darkness, a type of um, deceit that we go through, you know? So because of that, this type of energy is something that we carry, right? So I'm going to speak through that. This energy here is very tricky because it's really supposed to be a challenge that sets you free and you eventually become extremely powerful and magnetic because if you can get past industry drama, industry trials, industry um, belittling, just people in your industry, you could be in the makeup industry, the dance industry, you could be in the modeling industry, you could be in the food industry, you could be in the car salesman industry, you could be in any industry watching Gemini and people are very upset that you are a person of high status, high honor, high power, and you have natural authority. The way that you walk in a room, you I don't know what your rising could be, or you could be a Gemini rising, but you are a magnetic person in the element of the mind. You just have this ability to really connect with people through their mindsets and through speaking to them. They feel safe talking to you. They feel youthful talking to you. You give a youthful energy about you. And this is the card that also comes out when I start feeling the energy of industry betrayal and industry drama so that's what the devil card can also mean as well remember these cards have multiple meanings so take what resonates leave what doesn't if something doesn't resonate it ain't for you okay gemini Alrighty. so with the seven of wands here like i said you've been facing a lot of trials where you have been feeling defensive or like you've had to defend yourself you see all six of those wands pointing towards this one person here and that person's there standing with their wand like, you're not going to fuck with me. So the energy that you're in is like, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with these energies, these people, or this negativity. Because I got way too much going on. It's the energy that I'm getting. This is also fire energy. So you're creating right now. And you have no time for the BS. You're like, I'm in creation mode. I ain't got no time for the BS. But here people are trying to distract you. You've got the five of cups here. So you've got, I'm sorry, you've got the four of cups. So you've got three cups here. That you're kind of you know, I want to say thinking about or pondering on, and you're just wondering why these cups never seem to be utilized to their best benefit. And it's because these cups are, are done. You don't need to use them, worry about them. They're opportunities that regardless of either you failing to meet the opportunity to the highest extent or the other end of the opportunity failing to meet you at the highest extent, Spirit is bringing you a gift, Gemini. Spirit is literally trying to show you something here. See, you could you could be looking back towards all this drama here that people have caused towards you, but you're ignoring that Spirit is trying to bring you something literally from the heavens to you. Look at that. And then here Spirit is again on the other side of you. See, if you just look away from these trials, tribulations, and, and you get over the past, Gemini, you'll be able to see Spirit is trying to hand you knowledge, new love, enlightenment, food that'll last you a lifetime new clarity, healing of the mind, healing of the, the crown chakra here. With the page of cups and the four of cups, spirit is trying to give you emotional stability, creative stability, because you've been through a lot of bullshit. With the 10 of swords here, this is somebody who's been stabbed in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, too many times. One is too many times. You don't deserve that energy. Spirit knows that, and that's why spirit has been trying to grant you 
with little blessings like a new lover, a new partner, uh, uh, someone who wants to take you on a date, somebody who wants to, you could be getting a text message from somebody who wants to, you know, collaborate with you. This is a good time to, re to reflect and also collaborate with the right minds, the right people that are going to honor your creativity. See with the high priestess here, this is Pisces energy here. And the magician, literally from the one to the two. What I'm getting is top two and I'm not two. That's what I'm getting for you, Gemini. With the high priestess and the magician here, you are a highly creative, highly psychic, highly intuitive. You are a royal person. You are somebody who cannot be fucked with, Gemini. You're really not. You're really not. Yeah, with the six of pentacles here, life is balancing out. You have so many opportunities that it's kind of overwhelming. You're trying to find this balance with all that's coming your way. And you're trying to see whatever industry you're in, you definitely are flourishing in this industry. I want you to know, Gemini. You're somebody who people know have mastered your skills. You're a master at all of your crafts. You're highly intuitive and you know how to read people like day and night with this high priestess card. It's Pisces energy. We've got the magician here. This is somebody who has mastered all the elements. He has the pentacles here. He has the cup on his... Uh, the, the, from the, the water element on his desk. He has a wand from the fire element on his desk. He has a sword as well. And then he has his own wand that he's creating and curating his own special specific skill. Yeah, so you're somebody who has so many skills. You can do multiple things. I'm hearing communication. I'm hearing things that deal with cars and fixing cars. I'm literally hearing all this. Whoever's connecting to me right now, Gemini, you are probably a masculine energy, by the way. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a guy as well. Could be a, a, a woman who has a masculine energy, or you just could be a person in general who has a masculine energy. You are somebody who people come to for advice. You are somebody who people come to when they don't know where to go next. You are just somebody who has this type of spirit where people trust that you're really gonna try and help them. But see, you're, you're leaving all that behind with the Eight of Cups here. You're like, I need to go expand. I need to go grow. Gemini, you're like, I need to go understand who I am. I need to go understand what I want with my life. And I'm done being this high priestess for all of y'all. And y'all always want to, you know, take, 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 take. And you never want to give me any love back. I'm done. So Gemini, you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm taking my energy back. I'm taking my energy back from anyone, anything, or any place that's never that's never reciprocated in the way that I needed. So with this Knight of Cups, this, oh, this is the Knight of Cups here as well. You are being seen, Gemini. Look at that. With the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups here, you're like, I'm going to take my love right the fuck back. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to take my love. Look at that. With the Ten of Swords here, being stabbed in the back or letting go of certain situations where you have you have gone through traumatic situations where you dealt with being stabbed in the back. Here you are leaving that. You're like, I'm taking my love back. I'm done. And spirit's going to be rewarding you immensely because you're choosing yourself. And you should. You definitely should, Gemini. Look at here. Whereas people try to point the fingers at you, attack you, and or even just belittle you in any way, shape, or form. You alchemize that negative energy into something beautiful, into skills, into mastery. You've mastered a certain skill here. And I think it's the, the skill of detachment. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck with my lights, here's deck is the Six of Cups into the King of Wands. You've definitely mastered something here. And there's, some, there's something big coming for you. You may not feel like it's a good opportunity at first because of all these energies that seem chaotic around you. However, if you can learn to step away from what's not serving you, it's going to be easier for you to see what does. And that's the message for you today. My beautiful Gemini. It's my first time, I believe, reading for y'all. Much love. If you found my page, welcome. Much love to you guys. Rose out.